The forgetting curve is a basic concept that you should understand first because I don't think you have heard about it. Like any other system, there is a unique inbuilt system in the human brain that memorizes and forgets things based on their importance. If you put effort in a relationship, in a business, or on building a house, you will succeed by doing it repeatedly and continuously. Remember, consistency and discipline is the key to any unlocked treasure in the world. With this thing in mind, let's first understand the concept of forgetting curve before moving on to the 24-hour rule so that you can easily understand every detail of it. Forgetting curve is a graph with time on the horizontal axis and memory retention on the vertical axis. The curve shows that there is rapid decline in memory retention shortly after you study something, followed by a more gradual decline in memory over time. This looks simple, but this is not so simple, and this concept is extremely important for you to understand. Basically, forgetting curve works in three steps. First, there is rapid decline in memory retention that occurs within the first 24 hours after studying. Ebbinghaus was a German psychologist who discovered forgetting curve after doing experiments on human memory. According to his research, a person can lose between 50% and 80% of new knowledge he gets within 24 hours of studying. This is huge, and this is the base of 24-hour rule. Second step in forgetting curve is that after the initial rapid decline, there is a gradual decline, which means that the rate of forgetting slows down. Over the following days and weeks, memory retention continues to decrease, but at a slower rate. And the third step is decline in long-term retention, which means that if you don't review the study material you studied a month ago, memory retention continues to decline, leading to a very low level. By around 30 days, you retain only 2 to 3% of the original knowledge. So this explained that after first round of studying, Revision is extremely important to grasp on the study material, but no one tells you how often you should study and revise and what is the best time to review the study material. Don't worry, after today, your confusion about this will be solved completely. This is not just a talk, I will explain it to you based on scientific research, but you have to promise me that you will follow this for at least once in your student life. Do you promise? Well, let's move on to the rule before you get more confused. To deal with forgetting curve and improve your memory, there is a scientific rule which is called as the 24-hour rule. Yes, the 24-hour rule. Have you heard about it? Most of the old study methods will ask you to sit and study for 8 to 12 hours, which is not necessary in most of the case. Instead, a disciplined and smart study strategy is required to deal with the problem of forgetting, and getting long-term memory. Let's discuss the principles behind this rule. Watch the full video as I will tell you later how to actually apply it. The 24-hour rule. The rule is simple. Review new information within 24 hours of first learning it. This brief review transfers knowledge from short-term to long-term memory. How the 24-hour rule works? When you are reading or listening to a lecture, knowledge is encoded and stored in short-term memory. First review within 24 hours reinforces the neural connections formed during the initial reading. This reinforcement helps transfer the knowledge to long-term memory and prevents memory loss. Multiples reviews spaced out over time further strengthen memory retention. How to apply the 24-hour rule? For students, learning starts before the class begins, but most of the students don't follow this idea. To be the brightest star in your college or university, Read the lecture which is to be delivered the next day. Search videos on YouTube and try to understand the basics. And when the next day you will attend the lectures, you will ask the actual questions, and your understanding and memory retention of the concept can increase up to tenfolds. But as I have already mentioned that most of the students don't like this idea and want to go with casual routine. Even if you don't follow this routine, you can still apply this rule. When you are attending the lecture, don't take pictures of what your teacher is explaining on the board. Instead, write the lecture to make notes. This may feel boring and you won't feel like a bright student, 
but this will save you a lot of time according to what researchers show about memory retention and forgetting curve rule. If possible, take five minutes to review it after the end of lecture. Every step of reviewing is an actual step towards reaching your goal to unlock strong memory and be the brightest student you ever want to be. Sadly, laziness and procrastination kills the future of most students. But don't worry, even if you don't like making notes, you can still apply 24-hour rule, which is once you reach your home or hostel, your first priority after the lunch should be to revise the lectures that you attended at U College from your book and if possible, listen a lecture from YouTube at 1.5x speed. 24-hour rules tells that you should review what you have studied within 24 hours. It is the basic rule for long-term memory. The next step of this rule is to review all the lecture notes of the whole week on weekend and the same strategy to review study material at the end of month. This will unlock your brain internal power and it will create circuits of memory bits in your brain. Extended 24-hour rules says that you should review on first day, second day, third day, seventh day, 14th day, and 30th day. But according to my personal experience, first day, second day, seventh day, and 30th day are enough for you. This is the way you learn to study according to science. It will help you not only to do more and better study in short time, but will also make your memory strong. This was all from me. Now go out there and try it for at least one month and you will know that it was all worth watching this video. Smart strategy and revision in spaces is all you need. Good luck.